guys and welcome to Nick My name is Cody Lee and in today's video we're going to be making these cute pink prisoners from Squid Game. I have been seeing fan art for this all over everywhere so I had to do my own version and essentially what I wound up doing so it's a little bit weird this is gonna be a weird tutorial more than usual but essentially I tend to piggyback off of other tutorials especially base tutorials that I've done because otherwise I'd be here for three hours um, but basically I ended up modifying my baby Luna body and I have the pattern on here it'll be on here for you to get for uh, the version that has the different colors on here. So I'll be saying when I change from black to pink and all that other stuff, but basically it's a baby Luna body. And instead of attaching the head to the body, I made a little hood, which again, I will have links for the printable PDF down below, as well as some screenshots in video for how to do this little hood. And I'm going to show you how I assemble the entire body together after I've made this little hood on top of that. So this is not gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial, just more of a assembly and pattern video. I hope that makes sense. But essentially, I really wanted to do this video because I thought it was really cute. I love all of these and I love the face on them. I ended up using my Cricut Maker. There's a lot of different ways that you could make these little faces. You can broider them, you could have painted them on, but I wanted to make use of my $300 Cricut Maker. So of course I had to use my amigurumi technique, which I have a video for down below on how to cut specific felt in order to get the shapes that you want in your Cricut Maker. I have a Dropbox with the links for that. So you can actually download the images that I used and upload it to your own Cricut if that's something that you are wanting to do or you can just embroider it or you can just paint it on however you want to do it but basically that's it i also wanted to announce that we're doing a giveaway so uh, all three of these guys are going to be given away to one lucky viewer down below who comments and try to comment on what your favorite netflix original series is that's kind of what i'm going off of now that i have netflix I need recommendations and I'm sure everybody else does too. So one thing I will say that I've seen that is fairly similar to Squid Game is it's not the same, but it's a similar premise and it has similar ideas is Alice in Borderland. That looks so good and I want to watch it. Based off the trailers alone, there's a lot of striking similarities. So I just love, I love anime. I love foreign films. I love foreign TV. I love all of it. So any recommendations that you want to give to me down below, I particularly love anime. So I know I'm a total nerd. So let me know down below in the comments if you would like to be entered to win all three of these little guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So for this project, you will need some size four worsted weight yarn. I am using Karen Simply Soft, as well as some Heartland. This color is neon pink. It is very loud. It is very, very bright. And I'm using this Heartland Black Canyon yarn as well. I like the heathered tone to this, and it kind of gives it a more deep and rich look. So that's why I'm going with these colors, but you can use any size four worsted weight yarn. I also apologize about hearing cars or anything like that in the background because they are just really busy today and I can't get a break at all. So uh, I'm also using a size 3.25 millimeter crochet hook. This is my furls crochet hook, but you can use any kind of baits, boys, whatever you have for a crochet hook. As long as you are happy with your tensioning, that is all that really matters. I am also using a darning needle and some stuffing. I bought a pound bag and I still have plenty left in the bag. Uh, you will also, 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 also need some, whatever you would like for your face. So uh, I am using felt cut with my Cricut, but you obviously don't have to go to that extreme. You could very easily embroider these shapes with either yarn or with just white uh, fabric paint if that is something that you're interested in as well drawing a shape pretty easy and these are at the Dollar Tree now which is crazy so that's pretty much it let's go ahead and get started and I'll show the pattern here So as I stated in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be going step by step on how I put together this based off of my Baby Luna pattern and based off of the design that I show you, the little printable right there. 
but generally I've already crocheted everything that I'm going to crochet for this design. I made the body and I made the head. These are both basic baby Luna, same thing with the arms. All I do is vary where I do my striping for the little black band here and I do some embroidery, but I'll show you how I do that when we get there. But uh, how I do the hood is a little bit differently. So I don't attach the head to the baby Luna body like I did before. Instead, we're gonna make our own little hood here. And essentially we're gonna do the exact same thing as the head where we increase up to 36, but instead of going around for eight rounds, we're gonna go around for 12 rounds. And here we are uh, all finished here and I am going to take my tail I'm going to pull that all the way through and what I like to do is make a seamless uh, fasten off essentially. So I'm going to move my crochet hook over here and we're going to take our darning needle and I'm going to show you how I do a seamless fasten off real quick. I have a full in-depth tutorial on how to do this but generally this is the quick method. We're essentially going to create a stitch over this piece right here and how we do that is we create our tail to go from here we're going to skip over this stitch and go over into the second stitch from our work go like that and pull through that creates the first leg of our stitch and then i'm going to take my darning needle and go through the center of my stitch that i originally had here i'm going to pull that through but what i like to do is i like to also go through the back rungs that's why i go through front loop only uh, it makes things uh, easier when it comes to hiding them. So I'm going to take that, pull that through, pull that until it looks like it is on par with the rest of my stitches and you can't tell that it's a fake stitch essentially. So there, that is done. I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it. It doesn't need to be super duper like to the point right there. I'm going to take this and throw it away. Um, I've already added my shape to my face. You could do this at the end, but I just wanted to hot glue them all on. I took my Cricut, like I said at the beginning, and I hot glued on my faces. And what I do from here is I take my bottom, so that's where I finished off and uh, did my six single crochet all together. And I'm going to take my hood here, where I take here, and this is where I just made the stitch. I want that on the bottom, just because I think that that would look the best. And I'm going to take my head. And I kind of like grab my hood so that my finger is over the bottom of this as well. And I kind of just shove it in as best as I can and kind of just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until the face is straight. You can add the face after you've added in your hood, depending on what you want. But I'm fairly happy with how that looks. I'm gonna pull that up, pull that up. I will then take some adhesive at some point and put it on the inside so that this head is attached to the hood on the inside. And now I'm going to sew on my body the same way that I would if it was with the head of my baby Luna. So here I'm gonna line it up like this. And I want this part, these stitches, to go along this stitch right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to show I'm going to line it up right here. I'm actually going to take some of my stitch markers right here. I'm going to take it and stab it. I'm going to take this one and... Oh no, there we go. No, don't come out. And there we go. So essentially I want these to line up along the side here. And I'm going to take this and it doesn't matter if you go through the head and the hood. I tend to only go through the hood just because I plan on adhering this in a way. I'm going to go through the head and go back up the side of my body like so until I get this to all be sewn on essentially all the way down and then I'm going to attach my arms after that and then we'll be back to show you how I do the embroidery on my uh, center here and that's pretty much all there is to this tutorial it is very much based off of my baby luna design so again if you would like to see a step by step for that you can see that down below but that's essentially how you attach the hood and uh, i'm going to keep going until i have the arms and this all sewn on and then we'll be back to show you how i do the embroidery in the center you could also straight up just do fabric paint if you're doing that method with your face and that would probably look really good too i'll be right back as soon as this is all sewn on all right so i'm all sewn here and what we're going to work on next is a little faux zipper line essentially for the little like hazmat suit zipper 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use this black canyon yarn that we use for the face and the hands and the everywhere, the belts essentially, and we're going to double strand it. So I'm gonna take both my ends, make it so that it is lined up. And what I'm going to do then is take my darning needle and go through the back and try to center it through the front center of the little belt area. I'm gonna pull that through, try to keep things nice looking, try to make it so that it's all going the same direction. I leave a nice little tail on the back here too, just a little bit so that you can see. And here we're gonna find the center of our neck and I like to go up and down through the back again so that you can see. I'm going to kind of hold this while I pull it through. That way this will kind of stay straight is my goal. Like that. Ish. Ish. Tug it a little bit, but not so tight. Because now if you leave it a little loose, when you go to take this and pull it, squish your little guy, go this, pull gently and snag, just like that. And there you've got a nice little zipper and your guy is all done. So again, there is a printable PDF for this on Ravelry. It's free. It's going to remain free because this is a licensed character through Netflix or whatever owns Squid Games. I'm not even going to play with them. But basically you can get the printable PDF for free right on Ravelry. It's linked down below. Uh, if you're interested in the giveaway, make sure to leave a comment down below. I've already talked about that at the beginning of the video, so I'm sure. Again, leave a comment down below on what your favorite Netflix show is other than Squid Games. I think that would be a lot of fun. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this quick little pattern preview. And before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to my Patreon supporters. There's been a bunch of you just popping over there lately, and I don't know what's going on, but I'm... I'm all for it. It's really cool. That's pretty much with this tutorial. Uh, if you want to go on patreon.com slash net, we have uh, Patreon stuff. You can see different awards that we have for our patrons there. Free patterns and stuff like that. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, enter the giveaway. If you want to comment down below, hit the little bell before you leave if you want to see more content like this. And until next time, guys. Bye!